Oshio. Hey, brother. I really appreciate you putting that video up. I really do. I'm glad to see you back. Yeah, we was all concerned about you and glad to see you to see that you're right back again, you know, getting right in there just grabbing a bull by the horns. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize that not every thought is our own. Sure, we, we have our own thoughts that we think. And sometimes that gets us in trouble. In fact, a lot of times it'll get us in trouble. And then sometimes it'll keep us out of trouble. Pending. But, I think a lot of people don't realize that, you know, that uh, the enemy of our souls will place thoughts in our head. Thoughts that are not there. Okay, for instance, you can take a person, and I've seen this and, and experienced in my own self. Uh, and there's a lot of people, I guess, can say the same thing. Is that, uh, for instance, uh, you know, you can take someone who is not thinking anything particularly bad, right? Who don't have, as we would say, on a normal basis, would not have a bad thought uh, about something or, or somebody. But then, out of the blue, you know, just bam, out of the blue. These thoughts would, uh, you know, assail their minds, you know, plague them. You know, uh, maybe it's a, a filthy thought, or maybe a thought of angry, uh, mean thoughts towards somebody. Uh, just out of the blue. What causes that? It's the enemy of your soul. That's what. And also God gives us what we call a conscience. And also, we have His Spirit. There is our conscience and His Spirit. God gave us a conscience for a reason. And it seems like a lot of times we fail to listen to God's voice and the little voice, the conscience. We fail to listen to it. And we tend to get ourselves into a lot of trouble. But you know, I think you know a lot of people sometimes begin to blame themselves for some thought that wasn't their own of their own making. And they start beating themselves up and coming against themselves to such a degree that they're, well, it's like a whooped pup, you see, or a beat pup. You ever seen an animal when it's beat, you know? and how it's subdued and everything and you just feel like you can't do nothing right well you know there's a lot of times we're that way feel like you know we're just a failure yes we're apt to make mistakes but i tell you what the thing is the choice is is are you gonna dwell on those things or just shove them off and get up and keep going that's a big big thing right there so, but again, I wanted to say thank you for posting the video, and it's good to hear you again. And uh, always obey God, and if you ever slip up, don't ever let that keep you from doing what's right before God. One thing you can do is dust yourself off and keep going. I think a big mistake for a lot of us, we tend to allow ourselves to, when we slip to uh, on anything, no matter how big or how small, we tend to just wallow in it. And very few ever get back up. But I'm glad to see that you gave the devil a black eye and that you're getting back up on your feet and, uh, and I'm hoping everything is well with you brother glad to see you back and see you in the fight fight the fight keep the faith fight the good fight of the faith 
God bless you. And Shalom. Boy, do I need to get rid of this old bristle brush, 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 uh, scrub brush. <laughs> hey, God bless you. Shalom and ha-ho.